Hello all, welcome to session 112. In this session, I am going to practically demonstrate how to use else block with for loop in Python. So let's get started. First of all, I'll open this PyCharm ID where we have this Python file. Inside this Python file, I'll write the code for the simple for loop, okay? For i in range of one comma 11. Put a colon here and say print i. What will be the output of this code? If I run this code, what will be the output? We'll get the output as one to 10 guys, okay? One to 10 will be printed in the output. Why? The first iteration, the value of i is one, and one will be printed. Then the next iteration, I will become two. Automatically, I will become two, okay? Then uh, since two is also in the range of one to 10, two will be printed, okay? Like that, 10 iterations will be done and one to 10 will be printed. So here, the first value is one, okay? In the first iteration, the value is one. It's starting with one. And the last value will be 11 minus one, that is 10. So when I is in the range of one to 10, Okay, the uh, I value will be printed. So one to 10 will be printed in the output. So now can I use else block with for loop? In Python, we can use else block with Python uh, for loop case, okay? In Python, we can use else block with for loop. You have to use like this else print. This is printed as I became, as I is out of range, okay? So what happens here is if I use else block with for loop, when the i is in the range of one to 10, this statement will be printed, that's fine. But the moment i becomes out of range here, that is when i becomes 11, something like that, then it will come out of this for loop block and the control will go to the else block. So that's where this is printed as i is out of range will be printed in the output case, okay? After printing one to 10, the else block will be printed, guys. Okay. If I remove this else block, if I run this code, you see the values from 1 to 10 will be printed. You see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But if I put this else block here, after 10 got printed, okay, after the 10 got printed, when i becomes out of range, after 10, i will become out of range. Then the control will go to the else block. And here, this statement, this is printed as i is out of range will be printed after 10. Run this code this time. You see, with else block, after 10 got printed, this is printed as i is out of range will be printed. So hope guys you understood how to use else block with for loop in Python. So that's it guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.